Hi, my name's Kirsten and the question I'd like to answer for my video today is um, if I could go back and do the OT program implemented a second time, what would I change about that program? Okay, so first I'd like to change the process of the initial assessment. Um, so we would uh, go to the schools and assess a child um, to determine whether it would be appropriate um, to start a school-based program with them, either in a group or individually. We'd use the Shaw early handwriting screen and components of the kids screen uh, to get that baseline information. And um, if I was to change it, I'd, I'd do those, but I'd also complement these assessments with classroom observations, um, also clinical observations, um, just to see if there's any um, sensory issues going on or anything else um, physically that could be impacting on the occupational performance. I'd also use a sensory profile if I found that appropriate. Um, if the child presented with excessive fidgeting, slumping in their chair, um, distractibility, things like that, um, just to get some more information. I'd also speak with the teachers um, just to discuss what their expectations of the program were for that child, um, what goals that they had for their child and just a bit more about um, what their concerns were and why, um, just so some more information about why that child was referred. Um, and if it was appropriate, I'd also like to call the parents um, and speak to the mother or father to see um, what their expectations of the program were and what goals they had for their child and what they'd like to see working on and if there was any issues that they had at home. Um, so if they had problems with dressing, feeding, toileting, um, anything um, that they had concerns about at home that I could possibly um, create a more individualised program for that child so that we were working um, from a holistic perspective. Um, I'd also give the child a copy of the um, OT school-based program so that they could give a copy to the teacher and also to the parents, just it, that would have like a detailed overview of what we'd be working on each week with the child and why. Um, and if, the, of course, the teacher or parents had any questions, they'd have contact numbers and things to contact us with. Um, I'd also um, ask the parents if they'd like uh, me to create an individualised home program. Um, so just to give the parent um, activity ideas and strategies um, that they could use with their child at home. For example, um, that could be like how to incorpor incorporate routine and structure um, into the child's life at home um, and that can help them um, with, you know, completing tasks um, like getting dressed in the morning. They have to, um, you know, get up, have breakfast, then they go get dressed in the morning, then they pack their bag um, and maybe like even how to put a reward system at home as well to help the child engage and be motivated in the task. Um, I'd also like to provide the teacher and par parents with a summary at the end of the program of how the child went, um, what what I observed um, went well and what didn't work so well, um, what strategies that we worked that went well. Um, maybe the child um, was initially only able to follow one step instructions, now they can follow three step instructions, just give them that more specific feedback so that they can continue developing the child at home. Um, and to evaluate the program, um, I would reassess using the Shore and Kids screen, um, but also do things like um, contact the teacher and perhaps give them a survey to see um, what changes that they've seen. Um, also the, t the parents as well, if they wanted a home home program, um, perhaps a survey of what worked with them with the home program, what they found useful, what they didn't, and with that information I could give that to the next student so that they could incorporate those ideas um, into developing the next school-based program. Thank you.